Yo, what's going on guys? Salam rahayu semua. Welcome to the second episode of Masak Masak with Semi. And in this episode, I'm going to show you how I make pecel. So pecel is a traditional Japanese salad served with peanut-based dressing. It contains uh, different types of uh, boiled veggies, usually served with rice, uh, lontong, uh, cubicle rice cakes that we have in Indonesia. And it's usually served with a different condiments that you can pick, um, like tofu or tempeh or quail eggs or whatever they have on the street, uh, in the street food stand. But um, <clears throat> I love pachal so much because it reminds me of my grandma and my grandpa. Um, every time I go visit them in Yogyakarta, they would always take me to Malioboro Street. And every time I go there, of course, I get hungry, uh, seeing, all this, seeing all these street food vendors, and we would always um, go find a, a, a petrol stand. They usually lay out uh, their veggies, so you, can pick the, so you can pick your own veggies, you know, whatever combinations that you like. But they have kangkung or ong choy or watercress spinach, as they call it here. They have uh, long beans or kacang panjang, they have bean sprouts or what we call toge or kacambar and they have kol or cabbage and they have so many different types of veggies you can choose your own combination but it's also great for young people like me who lives paycheck to paycheck you know you can make the sambal pecho sauce and you can keep it in the freezer and keep it as long as you want uh, you can just put that on top of whatever veggies that you have or where you can where you can find in the grocery stores near you eat it with rice and tofu or tempeh or eggs and you will literally be good for the day. It's good, it's healthy, and it's delicious. So in this episode, I'm going to show you how I make pachal. Let's do it. All right, first things first. Here's what I used to make my pachal sauce in this episode. I'm going to leave the full recipe as well in the description for you to check it out. But make sure you check out my last video to see where I get all these awesome ingredients like this long bean right here. It's really nice textures for this pachal and when I prep my veggies, I usually just rough cut them like this. And after I prep my veggies, I get a pot of water and bring them up to a boil. And then I add a tablespoon of salt to taste and just dump my veggies really really quick for about 5 seconds. Because the idea here is to cook them but you still want to keep them crunchy. And for this episode, I'm gonna prepare my pachal with this tofu. I love this tofu because they're really nice and firm. And I usually just cut them in thin slices like this so they get nice and crispy. And after I prepped everything, I get my wok and oil ready. I turn it up to a low medium heat and deep fried my peanuts for about two minutes until it's golden brown like this. And then I put my fresh ingredients in for about one minute just to get the color out and the flavor out. And then I put my tofu in at the end because now the oil is flavored. So it's gonna add even more flavor. And while I wait for my tofu to get done, I put my peanuts in the grinder and I keep grinding them until it's fine texture so that it's easy to mix it at the end. And then I grind all my fresh ingredients using this ulakan or chobek as we call it in Indonesia. I grind them up into a paste-like texture and then I add my peanuts and then two tablespoons of salt to start with. But you want to make sure that it's salty though because you're going to add some water at the end. And after you mix it all well, it should look like this. I set aside half of it for later and then I add a cup of warm water. But make sure you add the water little by little so that way you can control the consistency of your sauce. And that's it, it's time to plate it now. I just put a scoop of rice there, some tofu on the side, add some kangkung, and some cabbage on the bottom, put some long beans, some bean sprouts, and some nice fresh cucumbers. And then put the sauce on top. On top of it, some fried shallots. 
Look at that. Looks pretty good to me. All right. <laughs> Are you ready? Check it out. Ooh. Looks pretty good, huh? My mom got my mom got me this plate, so I'm, I'm using it today. Look at that. It looks pretty close. Kind of looks like the patrol that you got from the side of the street. <laughs> I'm excited for this, so let's try it. Selamat makan. I'm just gonna dig in with my hand. I added a little more salt at the end um, and the sweetness and then the sour is really good it comes from the tamarind um, the texture is really good it's crispy you see like the, the green beans right here it's soft but it still got the texture also the also the ong choy or the kangkum one thing though what I would do um, if you make it at home, I would um, I would just kind of like grab the um, the kanko and just like squeeze the water out of it because it's really watery. Uh, it'll make it'll make a better texture, but so far so good. Tastes pretty close. Mm -hmm. Ah, reminds me at home. <laughs> As you can see, I have a lot of food left over. I can probably eat this for like a whole week, literally, for <laughs> breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So good. Oh, well, there you go. That's how I make my pachal sayur, uh, traditional Japanese salad. Hope you guys like the video, and hope you guys can try it out at home. Let me know. Let me know what you think. Uh, let me know also if you have any questions or suggestions, please DM me. Um, also, follow me on my YouTube channel, my Instagram, my Facebook. This is Masak Masak with Semi. Okay? Selamat makan. Yep.